What is up, what is up, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. And today in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what it takes to become a graphic designer, a digital artist, someone who creates pieces of artwork on their computer or on their digital tablet. In this video, I'm gonna be going over many different subject matter in order to get you well informed on how to become a better artist for yourself and for anyone who is viewing your work. But enough of that, let's get into the video. So one of the first things that everyone should do before they start working on the computer is try to figure out their specialty in the artistic world when it comes to drawing or painting. Um, you want to figure out what type of things that you create the most. So you should look back and reflect on past creations you have made and see what you are good at and start practicing there on the computer. For instance, if you're someone who likes to draw people, you like to work on figures or maybe likes to work on anime and you just want to start try it out on a computer, then start there and just keep on practicing at it before and you know next thing you know you know you get used to using a pen tablet with your drawings on the computer and that is the really first thing that everyone should do is just try to first figure out what you're good at before moving on to the next step now the very next step is a very crucial step when becoming a digital artist a digital drawer or whatever you want to call it the next step is just general practice you know because drawing on a t pen tablet is entirely different it's never going to be the same like drawing on paper I mean some people love paper and when they go to the tablet they're gonna struggle because they can't seem to figure out how it responds to the computer screen they're, they're used to looking at the paper that they're drawing on and not the computer screen so it's a whole different style of drawing for them and it can be complicated so really just practice do a lot of rough sketches and just sketch out a lot of things that you like to draw the favorite things you like to draw for me for instance i like to draw people i like to draw women because i like women so i draw so i draw women so i practice all the time on my women because it's something i like to keep myself well trimmed at you know and for anyone who's getting into it practice is very crucial when it comes to using one of these pen tablets because the transition from paper to digital is a huge learning curve it might take you a month or so before you can finally say yeah I got it down after you finish discovering your favorite type of brushes and things like that on the computer depending if you're someone who uses Photoshop over Illustrator or uh, pixel versus vector based and that's something that you should really just look out for when you're becoming your first steps into digital drawing or digital creations digital artwork another crucial step and what not to do is when you're first becoming a digital artist is don't go to the store and buy the best of the best equipment and hardware because sometimes you know you might this might not be your thing becoming a digital artist you might try it out and say eh I don't want to I want to take it back to the store and the store don't want it so realistically when you're getting your hardware your pen tablet or your ta or your your digital um, tablet your iPad whatever just be cautious of you know because you might not like what you're doing you might not appreciate the, the digital world over traditional style so you might want to just go back to traditional so if you're going to be getting equipment i highly recommend you get secondhand used equipment you can find cheap digital tablets for um anywhere between 20 to 100 bucks you can get a nice intuos pro for about 100 bucks and you know you don't have to get the best of the best when you first start out because you don't want to go through the process of, has, of buying something using it for a couple months then you can't return it because it's so-and-so at the store and you know spending a lot of money you know if you go to the store and you buy a tablet it could be anywhere from three to four hundred dollars plus um and it's just a huge expense and you just really want to be careful on that and that's something that's serious when it comes to digital artists uh, if, if you're just beginning you just don't want to jump into it because you might not understand it could frustrate you and you don't want that to happen either because frustration is always never fun and yeah but on to the very next thing when you first becoming a digital artist and, you want, and you're trying to figure out things do not be afraid to go to YouTube and look for tutorials because there's tutorials everywhere make sure you look for more current uh, tutorials because there is a bunch of older ones that are very popular that are high in view count that when you search for things you're gonna you're gonna come across first so I recommend you look for more current more recent uploads on tutorials because a lot of them are more 
up to date when it comes to software and software changes over the years everything changes adobe changes vector pro changes whatever you want to call it, it all it all changes you know and so you want to be more current and you can understand the software easier when you're working with someone who's working with the current version of software that you have depending if you're going to do the monthly subscription with adobe or you're going to pirate something from somewhere else just just saying but make sure you're cautious about that too like i said watch a lot of tutorials figure out how to create the perfect brush for you play around with it because um, it can be difficult when you first start out when you can't figure out how to make the perfect brush like how people will do these crazy beautiful line arts and realistically you don't know how simple it is because you don't know how to make the proper brush for it so really just watch these tutorials google them or search them in the YouTube bar and be specific on your search bar use parentheses if you have to to find a locked caption if you need to and just be aware of what you're searching for and the last two things that I have to say that you should really just keep an eye out when you're becoming a digital artist is one, just really have fun with what you're making. Create things that you absolutely enjoy creating and just enjoy what you're making. Have a lot of fun with it, practice fit. It's okay if you can be silly, it's digital, so mistakes are gonna happen and it's really easy to edit things on the fly on digital. And secondly, don't create for other people's views or attention. Don't try to cater for them at first. You know, like let's say you create an image and you let's say you post it on Instagram or maybe you did a small video and you put it on YouTube and you're hoping to get a lot of views or likes or favorites or whatever and you don't get much of anything and so it could put you down and be like I worked really hard on this image it took me a couple hours to draw it you know and then when you post it on like DeviantArt or whatever and it's just not getting the publicity that you were expecting it to get um, do not create in that manner because it can really put you down um, it can really put you in an artist block it can really hurt you it can really kill your morale so realistically you should just create for yourself and just have fun with it whenever and you know if you post it you post it and you post it for the joy if you get a commission then that's different that's a whole different subject we could talk about on a different day but realistically just have fun with it and create for yourself and just have fun with it a lot of youtubers that i see who are making these pictures and stuff they aren't just making it for the views they're usually just creating something that they enjoy to make um quick shout out to another digital artist tra traditionalist artist as well Ka her name is cat Valk, and she loves to draw cats in many different ways and forms and fashions and she's someone who just really likes to draw cats amazing talented artist and um yeah she just she draws what she enjoys to draw she doesn't draw too many things on request at all i noticed by watching her videos but she just draws just for the pure fun of it um to either digital or traditional and that's just her style but that's pretty much this video on how to become a better artist for yourself how to become a digital artist but it's your boy diamonds here at common sense graphics please shoot me a like or a subscription if you want to watch more videos let me know what you guys think down in the comments your boy out